Hello everybody, welcome to Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. This is Saint Cheshire, and today I am going to be doing a let's play of one of my favourite games ever. Well, not my favourite game ever, it's my favourite Devil May Cry game. And yeah, I'm going to be doing it on Son of Sparta difficulty. As you can see, I've already finished it on Devil Hunter, and I hope you guys will enjoy, because I really like hack and slashes. They're one of my favourite genres. And I have fun with this game messing around with like different combos and making up new combos as I go along. It's really fun and getting like high rankings for it. But first before we dive in, I'm gonna show you my current options. I am running everything on max and yeah, I get solid sixty FPS all around. And it's, this game is really well optimized, surprisingly. So, let's jump right in, shall we? Yeah, I'm probably going to pick the normal costume. This game has been out since July, I think, or June. Yeah, around there. I think it was like June 23rd, something like that. So it's been out for a couple of months. So it's rather recent. I've always wanted to do a LP of this, so it'll be quite interesting. I'm probably gonna talk over the cutscenes because it's like it's Devil May Cry 4. Everybody's seen this game before, and here we have our main protagonist. It is Nero, who many people believe is the reincarnation of Virgil. Which would make sense. And there's Kyrie for those who don't know. This is what this game's about. Like, it's about the Order of the Sword, who worship Sparta as a demon god. And Nero is a knight of that order. And as we see, he's rushing to the uh, ceremony. Kill some demon ass. They've really upgraded the graphics for this game. And I do love the soundtrack, to be fair. wondering why he has a cast on his arm. Well then basically he had his arm, I think he got bitten or something, he got attacked by a demon like before this even started. I wonder who's that empty seat? Like this game was the last Devil May Cry game using the old formula. Then the reboot happened. But I much prefer this to be feel, to be honest. It's a very authentic cutscene, I have to say. It's a really gothic feel to it, which is what the older Devil May Cry games had, but the new one doesn't. As you can tell, I really don't like the reboot. Just because it changed the aesthetic and the character designs so drastically. I read recently, like on some article, that there's apparently a Devil May Cry 5 game in production, but it's probably just a rumour, so I highly doubt that'll be happening anytime soon. There we 
we go. Made it just in time. Out of breath. Oh, it's Dante. There he is. There's the main protagonist of the game. The true main protagonist. Not some random kid. Which is essentially what Nero is. Everybody's familiar with this storyline. Yes, he did. They're all wearing the same outfit. Oh, look, Lou is such a badass with his headphones. God, I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> hey, man, if I sit here. Man. He's really trying so hard to be the cool kid around here, isn't he? Pray to the Demon Lord. Because that's not suspicious at all. That's pretty much me in a church. Every time I go to church, I'd rather leave. I agree, man. What's, with him? What's wrong with his arm? <gasps> I actually had him as the uh, Sparta costume, that's great. I played a bit of Bloody Palace earlier, that's why he's in that costume. Whoa, whoa. Dante, you look different. He's wearing the Sparta costume, I think. I will probably change that. Charge! <laughs> Look at blood on my face. Can you guys help me get it off? Oh, okay, never mind. Despite everything that's going on, this is actually quite a badass cutscene. Oh no, he's dead. Dante showing off his fancy moves. You're next, bruv. This is really long. Come on, I want to stop playing. Mm. Honestly, that eye class really changes the whole aesthetic of the costume. Here we go. The real fighting starts. Can't really stop him. He's Dante. Oh, look at me chuck off my headphones like such a badass. Oh, the thing is, with these characters, they just 
try and be really badass. Which sometimes works, but other times this makes him look like a doofus. It doesn't make him look cool. Which is what Capcom really tries with these characters, as I've noticed. Gonna hand it to Nero, he's fighting with one hand here. Alright, now we get into the gameplay. Now, considering this is Son of Sparta, he will take a lot longer to kill. And, uh, he will take. He will deal a lot more damage to me, so I've gotta be careful. Yeah, that's what Dante really looks like in this game. <laughs> All right, mission start. Let's get ready to kick some ass. I feel that rather lengthy cutscene. Okay, there we go. Come on. Yeah, you just watch out for his moves. Because he pretty much like tries to mimic what you do somewhat. Like that, see if I shoot, he'll start shooting. If I, sh if I uh, charge towards him, he'll jump. So just be careful and watch his moves. Is this really some of Sparta? Feels actually re well, considering this is the first boss fight. Actually, feel it was actually easier than I remember. Like investing B and grabbing like that, it'll go like that. That's Nero's trait, using the Devil Binger to attack his enemies. You can make some rather interesting combinations. There we go, done with. That was <laughs> we really kicked his ass then. But you guys might have a harder time if you haven't finished this game already. So that's probably why I beat him so easily, because I already have like all the combos unlocked for everybody. I do actually like this fight. It kind of reminds me of the Dante versus, versus Virgil fight. But I believe this one has a bit more action. It's a bit more over the top. He gets so, he, Dante gets stabbed by his sword in every Devil May Cry game. It was a theme at the start of every mission. Dude, I kicked your ass. I got a D for it, or a C, but ah uh, well. It's funny how there's like no hole when he takes it out. Which you'll see in a minute. <laughs> it's like that's some interesting developing choice. I mean like the purple colour of that suit. <laughs> it's like, these are obviously demons, Nero. How could you not know? You've been working with them for a while. And there we go. Adios. <laughs> okay, that is the first mission done. Let's see what we get. Oh, we'll get B. Alright guys, that'll be it for me. Stay tuned for the next episode.